Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our final bout this evening, so would you please welcome to the cage, Luke Palmer! been caged Muay Thai and we are here at cage side for it Luke Palmer in the blue the taller opponent Chris Granite in the red big support for Chris here tonight that's the thing doing four ounce gloves here at Lion Fighting Championship 17 making history tonight and another incredible show Dean Palmer though no fear getting in and he did land a nice right hook there and you feel he's got a check of getting inside these kicks because his leg already marking up here from the kicks of Granite He's just targeting that lead left leg of Palmer. Palmer has to check or get in. He can't stand at this range. That's what he's got to do. You've got to get in there and mix it with Granite when he's kicking away at your leg like that. When you've been caught on the leg like that, the worst thing you can do is stay at that range or look to back out. You've got to step into your man and hope to land with the punches. You can't stand him. Look, he's setting up, but he's not throwing. And as you said, this is the first round. Look at that lead leg already. Step in, throw that right hand that you obviously favor. That's what Palmer's got to do, Dean, to get inside here, throw that right hand with those four ounce gloves on, but more frequently. You... Oh, 
know who's standing there in the pocket waiting his opportunity and every time he has to reset to go again that leg's taken more damage and that's the problem for him every time he resets he's been forced to pay for it and then have to reset again Wait. He's got to get in, Dean. He's got to get in and he's got to throw that right hand. He obviously favours that. He's got to test Granite's chin with that. He cannot stay. Look at that leg, inside and outside. That's a stake tenderising. He can't afford to stay there. He's just had been in his comfort zone, blasting away those kicks. And maybe Palmer believes at some point here he will land with that right hand because he's not, even, he's not even bothering to check. He's just not checking these kicks at all. And the difference there, even on the few kicks that have been thrown against him, Granit's checked them. He's checked those kicks. For me, Palmer has to literally take his chances, step in. We see him, we think, ah, he's setting for the punch, he's kicked, he has to reset again. That's a long, hard round when you're doing that. It was a long, hard round for him in the first, and it's proving to be so again here in the second. And the thing is, Chris Granite, sorry, Dean, to interrupt, but Chris Granite is winning this on work rate alone without having to actually work. He's well within his comfort zone. He grimaced there for the leg this time. And now they have... That's because Granite saw the leg finally going. He, gave, he was given the first hint by Palmer that the leg was shot. Now for me, Dean, Palmer is relying on his ability to soak up the punishment on that hideously coloured leg now to land that huge right hand and end it in one fell swoop. The traditional Rocky story. <laughs> this is where he's got to change tactics, step in. Throw it. There's another 10 seconds left in the round. And he's been outpointed, his leg has been decimated. This is what he's hoping for. There, that's his opportunity. This is better from him, but I would make it constant now. You're two rounds down, constantly go for it now. Push in, get inside range, look for that right hand. It's been a waltz that Granite's led on. Let's make it a mosh bit in the third round and see what he's got there. That's the only chance he's got for winning now.
again he grimaces he's feeling it it's instilled in granite it's second nature it's what he does in and out and that's the thing He's showboating now and Palmer's saying, fine, you can't say that when you're behind. We know you're tough. We know you're determined. We only have to look at your leg to show that. Give us more. Come in. Work in now. Cause the upset of the night with that big right hand. He's not trying anything. This is not so frustrating. We saw in that corner. He switches fast to Bean. And he's hurt there. He's hurt. That, that punch. That kick. That right round kick. It's all over now. It was the right round kick. Suddenly switched upstairs. Nothing was coming back. Lord of the dance tonight. He hasn't even broken sweat really. That was the elbows after the roundhouse kick. Palmer will be so frustrated when he watches this back. He switched stance so his left leg was forward and then just took three separate shots and stood there taking them. And then when the roundhouse came high, there he was suddenly brought clean. Masterclass, really. Two incredible warriors in this cage, please. Let's hear it from both men in the cage. By way of TKO in the third and final round, your LFC bantamweight cage Muay Thai belt goes around the waist with a man from the red corner, Chris Emanuel. <laughs>